Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about zonal comparison in Omron PLC. So before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our channel for more videos. So this is the last instruction we are going to see in comparison comparator. So just see that you can see in data compare there is a zone will compare here z c p area range compare or else it's also called as area range compare or zonal compare okay just take this and just click ok so now let's see this is also an output instruction okay so block compare is also the output instruction and this is also the output instruction so this is having three you know uh, variables one is compare word this is like a source which one you want to compare that value you have to give in the compare word and there is lower limit of range and another one is upper limit of range so lower limit of range is like what is the minimum value you want to compare for example if you want to uh, you know uh, maintain the temperature between uh, 90 and 100 so you can give the lower value as 90 and upper value as 100 you have to give the exact temperature value in the compare word in compare word uh, you know address okay so i'll explain you with this take one input condition connect the rung now need to give the value for all these three so what i'm going to do i want to put that as a variable so i'm giving the variable address d0 d1 and d2 all are 16 bit all right so it's connected okay so just go online so all are having zero now so now what i'm going to do let's imagine the temperature transmitter value is 70 okay now what is the minimum range you want 90 and what is the maximum temperature you want to maintain which is 100 okay now the value is 70 and the minimum 90 maximum 100 now turn on your condition so now you want this zonal is comparing and giving the output so how to get the output from zonal comparator so for that we can make use of some system uh, contacts so just go for normal contact and drop down this box combo box you can see less than see this is p l t that means less than see so this block output can be used as a contact here so this is a system block system contact okay this is not having any address and all since we have used this block before it will be comparing the previous rung comparison it will do okay this is a generalized one it's not having any address so what this instruction will do it will compare the previous rung you know comparison result and show that here that's it so let's put one address here 100.0 i'm giving that as low temperature low temperature okay so just go for online so yes the temperature is not in range if it is below means we will be getting this output so to turn to just turn on now can you able to see your output is on low temperature imagine this is a led which led is on why because the current temperature is 70 but the required is 90 to 100 so it is a low temperature only no it is below 90 that's all it is on let's make this to 95 so this is within the range see your low temp is off so to see this particular output now it is in a current uh, you know correct uh, temperature right how to see that and what if if it is exceeding 100 it will be the temperature for that also we want a led indication right so how to get that means same like this we can get the block uh, you know instruction for or the contact for uh, you know equal and greater than so we'll add the same you can see 
equal p equal take this and take one more contact which is for p greater than p g t click ok and take two more outputs 100.01 which is uh, temperature ok and one more output here for high temperature right 100.02 which is high temp that's it so let's go for the simulation so now what is the value we have given here which is 120 right so it should be the high temperature so we have to turn on the last input see high temp okay the led this particular output is on so you have to see that it is on now put that back to 95 so this is within range so that time the high temperature LED is off and temperature OK is on now. Correct now. So let's turn off this to 56. Turn down, you know, make the temperature down. So which is below 90. So it is comparing the range between 90 to 100. If it is between 90 to 100, it is equal. For example, make 90. Then it will be equal. Okay. If it is 100, that is also equal. Correct. If you make this to 101, then that will be high. Even 1 is also high. If it is 89, then it will be low. Understand? What if, if we give the you know uh, point value? It will not accept because it is a 16 bit. Alright. So, that is it about the zonal comparator. So, along with this, we have one more instruction which is for the 32 bit so not only for this zonal we have for see if you go for the data compare no you can see this is for floating point this is the, for this you can give the flow for floating point uh, input so like that you have for 32 bit you have this is long area range compare okay so for this you can give the decimal value you can practice this so what all the instruction we have seen in our classes are for integers and word so if you want to use the floating point comparator comparison means you have to put the respective block all right so i hope you have understand the concept i'll meet you in the next session with another interesting topic thank you